to the person out there that doesn't understand reclassifying postgrads, who how do you explain that to them that you will be playing other teams with postgrads on it? For us, we can't use postgrads, which is very rare in Class A. There's not many schools in Class A. When I think when we won the Class A championship two years ago, we were the first school to do it that didn't have postgrads. Um, and that's unique and that's odd and that's different. But at the same time, I got kids to reclassify. So they came, they finished their sophomore year at their public high school and they redid their sophomore year here at Milton. Now, a school like Milton, you know, we don't have just the traditional English class. We probably have like 15 different English courses that you can take more similar to a college um, where there's electives and there are, you know, so you can keep progressing in that in that way and that you're not retaking any, any of your core classes that you've already taken, but you are still progressing as a student. And so a lot of our kids come here, they do that. And so so we do have older kids on our team. So it's no different than you know, some other schools that, that are allowed to take PGs. Now, the only thing I, I tell people that's different is that I have to identify this kid when they're 14 yeah. years old and not 18 years old. Um, that this kid has a chance to be pretty good if he has another year. Um, it's pretty clear when you're 18 years old and you've developed and you've grown into this body that you're like, oh, yeah, you're going to be pretty good. You, in one more year, you might be really good. Uh, you know, trying to figure out that when they're 13, 14, 15 years old is can be a little bit more of a challenge. But those, like I said, those are the challenges I, I love and I embrace and, and, and really do or try to try to do a great job of trying to identify those kids who are also looking for that same challenge here as well.